This is madness! This is Paldea! Today we're going to be uh, about... We're going to be talking about PSA, guys. Professional Sports Authenticator. Are you a Finizen or are you a Palafin? Either one, if you chose either of those options, that means you're a flipper. And this is a dirty, dirty, disgusting, filthy video about... Flipping about flipping slabs. Yep, that's right. We're gonna talk about hundreds of dollars. We're gonna talk about just just dripping wet Just gains. Okay, I'm really sorry. This is a disgusting video about making a shit ton of money grading and flipping Pokemon cards What? Yeah, that's right. Last time I made a video about PSA was about Nat Turner, how he's done over the last two years since taking over his CEA, and about some stuff about how they destroy all our Pokemon cards. So yeah, I've stayed away. I don't I don't make a lot of videos about PSA this year because that was last year's goals. That was a lot of things I was doing last year, and it's what I'm going to be doing next year. This year's goals was all about binder collections and master setting, like everything. So that's why you don't get a ton of PSA videos out of me recently, because I, I like to reflect and make videos and content about what I'm actually doing within the hobby. So, however, when you notice things, you get you gotta you gotta you gotta talk about it. And for the flippers, for our, our palafins, not our finisins, not our new ones, not our not our not our newbies that just got in with Scarlet and Violet base set last year, but our palafins, our fully evolved flippers, they know what I'm about to talk about. And the only way you can truly understand how ridiculous these illustration rares are going for in PSA 10 slabs is if you compare it to what we just had at the tail end of the uh, Sword and Shield era. So not 20, 2019 to 2021 with the craze, with Logan Paul, with COVID, with PSA getting backlogged, none of that. After the fact, once everything calmed down and all the pumpers and crazy people just went away, there was some very established new prices that you could expect to get for PSA 10 slabs on Sword and Shield Pokemon cards. And it's not good. So what this video is about is how hard it was to make money flipping slabs just a year and a half ago on Sword and Shield cards versus how easy it potentially is now with a lot of brand new Scarlet and Violet illustration rares. Okay? So first of all, just to, just for the compare and contrast, this is where we were at last year with grading. Sword and Shield era. There are a ton of alt arts. So pretty much all the alt arts, almost all the alt, not even all the alt arts, but a large amount of the alt arts, some secret illustration rares, and maybe one or two trainer galleries, not even three or four trainer galleries. And this is up until just a couple months ago. All of those cards, the most you can get in a PSA 10 flipping was like $49.95, unless it was an alt art, like a Brilliant Stars Charizard Secret Rare, which that, you know, it's already a market price of above $50. And that's part of the reason I quit grading, is because unless you were grading alt arts, it was really hard to find a good flip over the last year and a half in that Sword and Shield era. Okay, so that's the basis of finding anything over $50 that's not an alt art is hard, even in a PSA 10 slab. Trust me, and all the flippers know this, okay? Now we're gonna get into the Scarlet and Violet era, specifically illustration rares, many of which are $4, $5, $7, $12, very, very cheap cards, and then you add the $14 to $15 to grade, and then you know you, you send in with the right the thing, so you're only paying a dollar or two for shipping, so you're investing maybe like $20, $25 per card to grade. That is what we're gonna talk about today, and that is what we're gonna quickly fly through because the Paldea Evolve illustration rares, once we get to that, are insane. All right, let's get to it. So we're gonna hop on to Arizona TCG, uh, not sponsored, I do love this website. So Arizona TCG, price charting, obviously TCG Player, eBay, those are four of my most common, commonly used websites for all this kind of stuff. But so Arizona TCG, they do a really good job of showing PSA 10 prices, and it is very lock and step with uh, pricecharting.com. So, we're gonna start out with uh, Twilight Masquerade, most recent set. 
look at some illustration rares and we're going to confirm it on ebay and see how much money these illustration rares are actually selling for just in the last few days all right so here's twilight masquerade so let's let's take a look at eevee here it's saying 352. let's go over to ebay so july 12th 320 bucks and we're going to fly through this because i really do want to hurry up and get to paldea so 320 325 you know yesterday 330 so this isn't really a big surprise we, we already know eevee's crazy right all right so what's another one we can look at all right let's go to to, to, to infernape let's check out infernape 137 dollars 100 okay see the strike through the strike through the way ebay used to do it is the price you see so this used to mean it sold for 160 ebay just recently in the last few months changed this to where now this was the listed price and a best offer was accepted lower than 160 and ebay doesn't tell you anymore they just recently changed this so i'm not sure exactly if it was 140 130 but the 160 i can confirm because i just looked this up that is how much it was listed for not how much it sold for which is not how ebay used to do it so just to clear up any confusion we know that this sold for less than 160 but yeah 150 you know less than 185 150 and this is all just in the last week or two there's 100 all right so again i want to go through this very quick to get the pal data so temporal forces let's look at good so ghastly this is today 146 it's 150 after shipping and all that taxes 123 33 bids that's another 150 so uh, you're probably not too shocked by ghastly but this is you're going to notice that a lot of these cards are a lot more than $39.99 for a PSA 10 or $49.99 for a PSA 10, which again, sword and shield. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, so another one for Temporal Forces. Let's uh, let's look at Metagross. It says here $104 for a PSA 10. Metagross. So we got best accepted, 111, 113, 100, 109, 114. This is all just in the last two or three days. There's uh, July 1st, 120. Well, you know, well over 100. And what is this? An $8 card? All right. Let's go to P Rift, my favorite. So Paradox Rift, we'll take a look at Groudon. Probably take a look at Steelix. All right, let's take a look at Groudon. So Groudon, yesterday, 160. Look at this. Two days ago, on 31 bids, $250. The next day, this dude accepted an offer, a best offer of less than 160. You have 250, 220, 220, 215, 220, 220. This is all in the last four or five days. 265. Okay? I'm not sure why this dude accepted an offer of less than one. Dude, this guy screwed up big time. Sorry. This guy got a deal, whoever bought this card. All right, now let's look at Steelix. 155, 125, 165, 160, 150. This is all in the last week and a half. 130. July 2nd, there's finally under 100. July 1st, 100. June 25th, there's a 30 bids, 122. So since June, this has been way over 100. You just see going higher and higher and higher on average. Okay, now let's go to Scarlet and Violet 151. We'll look at Charmander and we'll probably look at Squirtle. All right. So it's 155 for Charmander there, so it's sold today. 169, 165, 190, 175, 150. Oh my god. And again, for a year and a half straight while I was flipping Sword and Shield cards, finding anything that would go from a full art waifu card to anything, it wasn't an alt art, almost impossible to sell for over $50. What are we going to look at next? Squirtle. Was Squirtle a $20 card? You know, 25, I guess. But yeah, 165, 140, 190, 140. This is all just in the last week. 140, 140, 140. It's 115 at the end of June. These are massive payoffs when you take the cost of grade to cost of raw. Let's look at Obsidian Flames. Nine Tails. We've talked a lot about Nine Tails PSA 10 lately. Let's look at Nine Tails and uh, Caesar. So. Nine tails, 130, 130, 160 on July 1st, 110, 150 on June 20th, before the raw card even started going up, 150, 190 on June 24th, 
180. What is this? $10 card? $11, $12, something like that right now? Those are returns you just do not see at all with sword and shield cards. Trust me. I'm just being very honest. This one especially. What is this? A raw $5 card? This card is like $5 raw, guys. 130, 175, 130, 130, 120, 120, 120. Just for a card that's $5 raw. I'm just sorry that I'm repeating myself. Okay, so Pele Evolved. This is actually the crazy one because there's just so many. So just looking right here, you see 650 for Magikarp, you see 300 Tyranitar, 290 Raichu. This is actually very accurate. Uh, this is all very accurate on these top four. 200 for Pseudo Wudo. That's right, 200 for Pseudo Wudo. Quaxley, yep. 176. 157. Sprigatito, 117. Even Flachinder, 106. What? Baxcalibur, even. I think we're gonna, yeah, because there's some. So look at this. Let's look at a bunch of them. So Magikarp, we already knew, like six, seven hundred dollars. Da da da. Everyone knows that. Okay. But now here we go. So here's some T Tars, three hundred dollars, thirty-four bids, June 29th, four hundred, three thirty, three eighty-seven plus thirty dollars. No, it's in the UK. But very much three hundred plus. This is a thirty-dollar card. So you're talking ten X on your PSA ten. Ten X. Okay. So the Raichu, 250, 350, 270. Here's a nice little deal, only 215 on 20 bids a couple days ago, very nice. Especially right after 270 and 350 just purchased outright. Wow, 350, it's June 23rd, we're into June now. All right, now let's look at uh, Pseudo Wudo. Pseudo Wudo, now this probably, you know, might surprise some people. Two days ago, $212, 28 bids, $190, 27 bids. Yeah. Okay. Quaxley. Well, that's in January, ignore that one. So July 4th, Independence Day, $190, 18 bids for a $5 Quaxley. Phew. There's July 1st, $150, 10 bids. Quaxley. Quaxley, guys. Heracross, 199, June 19th, 199, May. This one looks like it doesn't have that many recent sales, but you can see two $200 sales on Heracross. Spray though. It's June 23rd, 150, June 7th, 105, June 4th, 100. So yeah, it looks like not as many recent on that. Baxcalibur, yesterday, $130. Yesterday, $150. June 18th, $92. Fuicoco, two days ago, $175 on 28 bids. Fuicoco, guys. And then in May, he was even at $150. In May, $130. You can see up to $175. Holy moly. All right, let's go to base set. That was a lot. That was like seven different illustration rares from Paldea, all going triple digits in PSA 10 slabs. There's a massive caveat, stick to the end, because it's not as easy and, and simple as it all looks. And I'm gonna give us, we're gonna come to a grand conclusion at the end, which puts a twist on all this. So this isn't a everyone go out and create every illustration rare video. You definitely have to know what you're doing. But look at this. So Ralts, Corellia, 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 Corellia. Look at that. 288 for Ralts, 220 for Ralts, 250 for Ralts. Oh, wait, sorry, let me do sold. I, I'm sorry, guys, I thought this was on sold. Ta-da, we'll do it live. 170, 270. There you go, 240 on June 21st, 225, 260, 228. All right, now let's look at Krilla. 180, 150. Bang, bang. All right, so real quick, and again, I already went on price charting and I like double checked. I mean, I literally went straight to the source with eBay. But as you can see, 650 Magikarp. This is Paldea, Paldea on price charting. Tyranitar 300, Raichu 290, Pseudo Wudo 200, Quaxley 176, Heracross 157. So you can see price charting and Arizona TCG and eBay are all lock and step matching up. Crocolar 93, Baxcalibur it's showing 92, Fridge Bax. That is so much money, guys. All right, and now, now real quick, 
Okay, so real quick, I do want to get to um, the kind of caveat, the thing that you guys really do need to make sure that I, I, it would be silly of me to not bring this up. The gem rates, the chances of you getting a PSA 10 on these illustration rares, that's where things get a little tricky. And so let's, let's actually take a look at that right now because I'm going to go to population details right here. So, Universal Population Reports. Here is, uh, so I'm on gen, uh, gemrate.com, and this takes all three of the grading services, and I picked a couple of them. So, Magikarp IR, 20%. You see here, Gemrate 20.8. You see NGEM, you got PSA, BGS, SGC, CGC. There's 841 PSA 10s out of four. 3,700 total graded. That's a very low gem rate. 20% is a very, very tough grade. Okay? Raichu, here's another one. 18.8%. 18.8 on the gem rate. Okay? And then let's look at another one. Tyranitar, 16.5% on the gem rate. So what what am I telling you the guys this for? What I'm saying is if you get a PSA if you get a PSA 9 on these cards, you may very well be completely wasting your time, wasting your money or at least at best get your money back if you put them on auction or sell them in a PSA 9. So, if you're good at pre-grading, you, you you know, you know how to grade, you're, you're good at pre-grading. What I'm trying to tell you is there is an absolutely insane amount of opportunity out there for the Pinnacles and the Palafins for the flippers. This was not the case last year, and this was not the case since pretty much everything died down with a large amount of sword and shield hits. Just saying guys, if you are into grading and if you are trying to make some money on the side, and if you're confident in your ability to pre-grade, these illustration rares, even ones that are four and five dollars are going for 70, 80, 90 dollars. And that those opportunities just did not exist at the tail end of Sword and Shield. That's all I got. Like, comment, and subscribe. Deuces.